Hello everybody, this is Ser Like and welcome to episode 3 of my let's play of uh, Fight Night Champions. And I'm trying to dislike the first test right now, if it's going to be better or worse, I don't know. And this is the second time or the first fight in uh, the middleweight, I think. Come on! Yeah, I'm gonna get you against the ropes because that's what the uh, or tips me to do here. In a matchup like this, Teddy, we know the outside fighter can try to stay away from that power puncher. But what about the outside fighter putting forward? Come on now, get this son of a bitch. Please tell me in the comments what you want me to do, because I can't really do everything here. I got a little bit more familiar with uh, the editing program and stuff like that. This would be the easiest thing to do, but uh, the sound quality on the videos and stuff like that won't be that good. And uh, I don't know if it's going to be like the um, last recording in Battlefield 3, which I. Uh, come on, get off me, you asshole. Which sometimes my voice just slows down and gets all dark and stuff like that. I don't know if that's going to happen as well now. Come on now. Oh, that was so close to the face. Come on. Oh, hell yeah. Come here, you little son of a bitch. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Oh, that was so close for a really hard uh, hit to the face. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, there we go. Down, bitch, down. Say it. You are my bitch. Three. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Oh, I'm so going to fucking murder you now. Oh, and down again. Hell yeah! Look at that bitch go down! Yeah, but I'm also testing out the capture length thing if it's going to stop recording after 10 minutes or if it's going to just clip the um, uh, clip in two, if, I'm, if you understand what I mean. So I'm testing that as well now. So these p uh, first episodes is going to be like a sort of a test. Hell yeah! Beat him in the first fucking round! No competition! Yeah! First round knockout! Back here in the Friday Night Fight Studios, I'm Brian Kenny. Amateur gold medalist Andre Bishop taking his first steps as a pro this past weekend on the undercard at the Aragon Ballroom in Chicago. Bishop beating former welterweight contender Lucius Palmer en route to his first pro win. Now we've seen Palmer before here on ESPN. He's a veteran, he's no joke, and Bishop is now considered to be one of the best prospects boxing has seen in decades by beating a fighter. I like that they have uh, uh, things like this West, here. He definitely made a statement. Andre Bishop clearly a fighter to watch. In other news, heavyweight prospect Isaac Frost scoring the second knockout of his pro career, beating another overmatched opponent on the undercard of the McQueen pay-per-view in Las Vegas. He's now 2-0 with two KOs. Isaac Frost, that's your so stereotypical bad guy name. <laughs> that's like a Bond villain. Oh. Oh. No. Oh, fuck. There we go. And I'm gonna help you get there. Now I did it, come on. Fights against decent guys. And I want you to show me that you got what it takes. Because if you can stop these guys, I'm gonna be impressed. But if you can at least put them on the canvas, I'm gonna be disappointed. Now, kid, I wanna see these guys on the floor. There we go, continue. Awesome. I would like that they have the ESPN guys here. Like they did uh, go uh, through some trouble and stuff like that to get uh, yeah, pay, uh, pay some money for that and stuff like that. So I, I like that in this game. And this game. 
All the talk is done. Now the fight is set to begin. Hell yeah. There's Andre Bishop in the locker room, Teddy, with his longtime trainer, Gus Carisi. And of course, Gus was one who very early on tapped Andre Bishop as a fighter to watch. He said he was full of potential. Yes, he was a tremendous amateur. He won the World Championship Tournament. From the State Palace Theater here in New Orleans. <laughs> he looks ugly. We welcome you to our middleweight main event. A much-anticipated bout between Andre Bishop and Mike Walker. Yeah, but anyway... What was I saying now? Hmm. Don't know. Don't care. Let's go. I don't like that they have a story in this game. I really do, to be honest. But the loading screen is a little bit long. Gonna kick your ass in one round. Hell yeah, and now I know how to uh, take the body. Oh, that guy hurt. Teddy, typically in a fight like this, when we have a power puncher against a real high stamina, well conditioned fighter, what adjustments do you usually see made for the fight? Oh, hell yeah. The adjustment is on the side of the power puncher. He may find out that he's going to stop looking for home runs, stop swimming for the fences. He may have to adjust his game that he's using the jab for, looking for singles and doubles, not just that. Yeah, I failed a little bit there. Oh, hell yeah. Right in the face. Okay, I'm not gonna take this guy in the first round, I think. Ouch! That gotta hurt. Oh, come on! Oh, hell yeah! Right down! Cracker! <laughs> or whatever, that's gonna place into my race. <laughs> Since I'm white. Yeah, stay down. Stay down, bitch. Come on. I'm going to fucking kick your ass. Oh, again. Down in the first round. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Right under the shin. Yeah. Stay the fuck down. Come on. You can't handle this. Hell yeah. Down, bitch, down. Hell yeah. Now give me ice fro uh, frost or whatever. <coughs> Oh, these fires are taking up a lot of space right now. Yeah, yeah, by the way, the intro will come back in this episode. I had some problems because I need to record my voice while I... I was uh, oh. And David Brother was making his market in Hampshire. Gus had been our father's trainer. He took us in after our parents died. Hmm, what a nice person. Oh yeah, but this episode is soon over now. We'll try something else in the next episode, just so we know. Can I please? Uh, oh, so it's. Uh, I need to just watch this. <laughs> there we go, maybe it's the loading screen, yeah, probably. Yeah, well, thanks for watching. Please rate and comment. Like I said in last uh, episode, please rate and comment. That helps me a lot. And see you later.